How we doing? How we doing? Kevon White here, owner and founder of Grind Solo. Guys, I just wanted to give y'all some inside access today. I um, wanted to show y'all how I personally make uh, my Grind Solo t-shirts. And uh, pretty much just wanted to give y'all a little side hustle. If you need something, I'm going to show you from start to finish how I um, work from the computer, um, also the cutter, and then how I press the shirts on. Um, you kind of do have to have a system figured out from start to finish in, in regards to who who your uh, manufacturers are going to be for your t-shirt where you're going to get your vinyl from i actually get my vinyl from michael's i do need to find a, a place online to get them so if you know of any uh cheaper places to get get vinyl i'm getting mine for about uh, i want to say about 13 bucks a roll um and i get uh, i get scissor vinyl okay so this is the vinyl we're going to use today uh, this is the vinyl okay y'all so just diving back in here um, i use silhouette uh, studio software this actually came with um, the silhouette cutter let's take a look so we're actually going to open up a file and i'm going to show y'all from start to finish how we make a t-shirt so i'm going to bring in my grind solo font and this isn't the Grand Solo logo, but it, this is the font I use. Um, I actually got this font off of PicMonkey. It's actually a, like a seven day trial you can use and they you can actually kind of just go in there and grab their, grab font and stuff off there. And they actually have the exact font I use. So I've been going there. So we're going to, we went to trace, right? Right over here, this is the trace button. So you're gonna grab that, you're gonna outline this, okay? That outlines it. So put it about right there. And then, honestly, this is something that I found that makes it a lot easier. You can just push trace, okay? And it just traces it right on, okay? Because really, this is what you're gonna use to throw on the shirt, okay? So once I grab that, I actually have an outline and I'll show you what the what my shirt looks like. But you'll see the end result. So I'm gonna go ahead and outline this. Okay. Throw that first outline on. Okay. Then we're gonna go here, put another outline in. There we go. All right. So now in order to put this on the shirt, you always want to mirror the image, okay? To put it on the vinyl. So I'm going to go up to object, go to mirror, flip horizontal, bam. So this is how it's going to go on the shirt. All right. All right. And from here, we're going to go over to send. And I actually have this hooked up through a USB. So here's a quick thought. Yesterday I was dealing with one of my buddies. Um, he was paying me for some t-shirts that I made for him or I was making for him. And he gave me the money. He was like, don't think about it. Just just go ahead and take it. And I, I took the money from him. And we always kind of get an awkward feeling when we're receiving money from people. And for the longest time, I told myself that awkward feeling that I was receiving was because I didn't feel like I should be paid for the work I was doing because I loved it so much, right? I didn't, I didn't think that I should be paid because I just loved what I was doing. I love, I love training people. I love doing t-shirts. I love speaking. Like I, I feel like I shouldn't be paid for it because I loved it so much. We got to check that mindset because subconsciously it, it truly, what I'm truly saying that I'm not worth the money I'm getting paid. And that feeling could be attached to our past. I grew up in a hard situation. I didn't have a lot of money growing up. So I'm used to being in a struggling situation. I'm used to being I, I, broke, as people would say, but broke is really a mindset. I'm used to that mindset, so that's a familiar state. So I want to receive money. It's hard for me to receive it. We got to kill that mindset. See, see, the thing about it is I, I say to myself all the time, I, 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 I deserve this money, right? I'm, I'm going to be a millionaire. I'm going to be this. I'm going to be that. But subconsciously, do I really believe that I'm worth getting paid? that money see sometimes 
We can know that we need something or want something, but not be open to it due to the things that we've been through in our past. I know I need money, but am I open to receiving that? Maybe the things that in my past, I need to go back and dig a little bit so I can take care of that feeling. Because I know those thoughts and, and feelings that I feel will continue to create my reality. So if I keep thinking that thought every time I receive money, I'm going to keep creating that in my life. So my question to you is, are you open to, re- to receiving the things that you're asking for? Are you open for, for re- to receiving the things that you're asking for in your life? Are you open to receiving money? Are you open to receiving love? Are you open to receiving love from yourself? Has your past caused you to build all this crap that's made it harder for you to be open to who you are?